welcome to the Coastal Low Country Real Estate Channel. So you're looking to move to the Georgia, South Carolina Low Country and want to know about living in a community with an HOA. What is an HOA? What are its advantages and disadvantages? Do I have to join the HOA or can I elect not to? What happens if I disagree with the HOA? What happens if I don't pay my annual dues or assessments? How do I know about these things before I get into my next home? Well, if that's you, then you've come to the right place because that is what we're going to explore today. So stay tuned as we check out the pros and cons of living in a community with an HOA. Welcome to the Georgia, South Carolina Low Country. We're Keith and Donna Hellman, hosts of the Coastal Low Country Real Estate Channel and local realtors with Keller Williams. Do you want to know everything there is to know about living in the Low Country, whether it's Savannah, Georgia, Hilton Head, South Carolina, Bluffton, South Carolina, or the surrounding areas? Well, then subscribe below and tap the bell for notifications so that you'll be the first to know what's going on in our market. And we receive calls, emails, and texts every day from folks just like you looking to move to Hilton Head, Bluffton, and Savannah areas. And we absolutely love serving you. So whether you're looking to move in the next week, the next month, or the next year, shoot us a text, send us an email, give us a call, or schedule a Zoom call, all in the description below, so that we can help make your move to the low country a smooth one. Hey, let's, let's get, get started. started. So you've found your perfect home in a great community, and it has everything you wanted, including great amenities like a golf course, a clubhouse with a fitness center, and a couple of pools, a community park, and beautifully landscaped common areas. Just past the gated entrance, you feel safe as you pass the lush flower beds and mature landscaping, as well as your neighbor's neatly manicured lawns. You may even pass by a communal bulletin board welcoming you home and reminding you of the next HOA meeting or HOA dues deadline. Sounds perfect? We'll find out. These things are indications that you are probably buying a home in a community with an HOA or homeowners association. You may ask yourself, what is an HOA? Do I have to join or is it voluntary? What are the rules and regulations? What am I allowed to do and what can't I do? And how much does all this cost? What am I getting myself into? Well, that is what we are going to explore today. So let's jump into HOAs. What are they and what are the pros and cons in living in a community with an HOA? So first up, what is an HOA? Well, HOA stands for Homeowners Association. Some communities call these POAs or Property Owners Associations, but they're basically the same thing. HOAs are private associations that operate under a set of rules and regulations known as CCRs. And no, for you old school folks out there, CCR does not stand for Credence Clearwater Revival. It stands for Covenants, Conditions, and Restrictions. These guidelines are designed to maintain uniformity and protect property values within the community. Most HOAs are mandatory, meaning just that. When a person purchases a home within the neighborhood, they are required to join and follow all the rules set forth in the association's governing documents. At the time of closing, the homeowner signs a contract agreeing to abide by the CCRs and to accept any and all associated assessments, fees, and fines. There is also on the flip side, voluntary HOAs, but they are more the exception than the rule. In a voluntary HOA, the buyer can decide at the time of closing or shortly thereafter whether or not they want to join the association. And this next point is very important and can't be stressed enough. Before buying a home in a community governed by an HOA, the buyers need to get a current copy of the CCRs as well as the current HOA budget to review and ask any questions prior to buying their home. Once you close on a home, it's too late. Some sellers may provide a copy of the CCRs as part of their disclosures, but your best bet is to get a copy of the latest CCRs directly from the homeowners association. The CCRs are often amended and updated, so you definitely want the latest and greatest version. 
your real estate agent should be able to get a copy for you from the HOA. In Georgia, sellers are required to complete a Community Association Disclosure, or CAD. The CAD lays out important information such as contact information of the HOA, usually phone numbers and emails, the annual HOA dues, whether any special assessments have been levied against the community for improvements such as repaving roads or repairing the community pool, for example, or whether the HOA has been involved in any litigation. Prior to buying a home in any community with an HOA, I would request and review this information because as I mentioned above, after you buy the home, it's too late. So how does an HOA function and operate? Well, HOAs are typically governed by a board of directors elected by the homeowners and is usually composed of homeowners who volunteer to serve. The board is responsible for making decisions about the community's budget, maintenance, and enforcement of the CCRs. The board often works with a professional management company to assist with the administrative tasks. The community homeowners pay regular dues to fund the HOA's operations. These dues cover expenses such as maintenance of common areas, utilities, insurance, and community services. Special assessments may also be levied for significant projects or unexpected expenses. Financial stability is crucial for the long-term health of the HOA and the community it serves. Mortgage companies may actually refuse to finance home purchases in the community if the HOA is deemed insolvent. And as referenced above, the CCRs are the governing documents of the HOA. They outline the rights and responsibilities of the homeowners and the association, and cover a wide range of issues such as architectural guidelines, property maintenance standards, and use of common areas. The bylaws detail the internal rules of the HOA including how the Board of Directors is elected, the frequency of the meetings, and the procedures for decision-making. HOAs are responsible for the upkeep of shared spaces like parks, swimming pools, clubhouses, and landscaping. Regular maintenance ensures that these areas remain safe, attractive, and usable for all residents. They also enforce rules outlined in the CCRs to maintain order and consistency. This can include restrictions on exterior home modifications, noise levels, pet ownership, and parking regulations. Enforcement is essential for preserving the community's aesthetics and ensuring a high quality of life. And finally, HOAs often mediate disputes between neighbors, helping to resolve issues related to things like property boundaries, noise complaints, and other disagreements. The presence of an HOA can be a double-edged sword, offering both benefits and drawbacks. Next, we will explore the pros and cons of living in a community governed by an HOA. So let's start with the disadvantages of living with an HOA. First off, there are the fees and assessments. One of the most significant downsides of an HOA is the mandatory fees, which can be substantial. These fees fund the maintenance of common areas and amenities as we referenced above, but they can also be a financial burden for some homeowners. Additionally, special assessments for unexpected expenses or major repairs can arise and that can add to the financial strain. Also, if you fail to pay your dues for living in the community, an HOA can foreclose on your home. Of course, it depends on the state's laws. In some cases, an HOA has certain limitations on when they can foreclose. Next, we have rules and restrictions. HOAs enforce a variety of rules that can sometimes feel restrictive to homeowners. These rules can dictate aspects of home ownership, such as exterior paint colors, landscaping choices, pet policies, and even the type and size of vehicles that can be parked in driveways. While these regulations aim to maintain community standards, they also can limit personal freedom and creativity. The effectiveness of an HOA largely depends on the competence and integrity of its board members. Poor management, lack of transparency, or conflicts of interest can lead to misallocated funds, inadequate maintenance, and a decrease of community morale. In extreme cases, mismanagement can lead to legal disputes and financial difficulties for the HOA and its members. And finally, there's the possibility of enforcement issues. The enforcement of HOA rules can sometimes be uneven or overly strict. Some residents may feel targeted or unfairly treated, leading to tension and dissatisfaction. Additionally, the process for addressing violations can be bureaucratic and slow, which can be frustrating for those affected. Now let's talk about the advantages of an HOA. 
One of the primary benefits of an HOA is its role in maintaining property values. HOAs enforce rules and regulations that prevent homeowners from making changes or neglecting maintenance in ways that could negatively affect the community's aesthetics and, by extension, property values. Regular upkeep of common areas and landscaping contributes to a clean and appealing neighborhood, which can attract buyers and keep property values stable. Next, many HOAs provide amenities and services that individual homeowners might not be able to afford or justify on their own. These can include swimming pools, tennis courts, fitness centers, clubhouses, playgrounds, and more. We think this is one of the most important reasons to have an HOA. A portion of the dues should be set aside in reserve for future repairs and maintenance. Otherwise, the homeowners would be required to go door to door, hat in hand, asking for contributions to make these repairs or these repairs could fall on a few homeowners who take it on themselves to maintain the amenities. Next, HOAs serve as a mediating body for disputes between neighbors, whether it's issues related to noise, property boundaries, or shared spaces. Having a structured organization to handle complaints can prevent conflicts from escalating. This can lead to a more harmonious living environment. And the angels sing. And finally, HOAs often foster a sense of community by organizing events, social activities, and meetings. This engagement can help residents feel more connected and invested in their neighborhood, promoting a sense of belonging and camaraderie among their neighbors. Well, that about wraps up our time here talking about HOAs, what they are, how they work, and what are some of the pros and cons of living in an HOA community. Homeowners associations can significantly impact the living experience in a residential community, offering both notable advantages and potential drawbacks. For those who value well-maintained environments, access to amenities, and structured community living, an HOA can be highly beneficial. However, the financial commitments, restrictions, and potential for mismanagement are important considerations. Potential homeowners should thoroughly review the HOA's covenants, conditions, and restrictions and consider their personal preferences and lifestyle before deciding to purchase a property within an HOA-governed community. Do you have a favorite HOA story, good or bad? We'd love to hear about it. Please feel free to comment below. We hope you've enjoyed our time together today. We also hope you found this to be helpful and maybe even learn something new. If you want to stay up to date on the latest on what's going on in the Georgia, South Carolina, Coastal Low Country, please be sure to like, subscribe, and tap the bell for notifications so you'll be the first to know about the current market here, or even better. If the low country looks like the place you would like to call home, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or book a Zoom call, all in the description below. Again, this is Keith and Donna Hellman, hosts of Coastal Low Country Real Estate and Local Realtors. It has been an absolute pleasure spending time with you again today.